ladies and gentlemen this morning i finally broke my 1 million net worth here in shop titans 100 free to play i've only been playing the game for a couple of days and truthfully i've been extremely addicted to the game i've been grinding it off camera but we just hit level 20 this morning i'm absolutely having a blast with this game like look this video is obviously sponsored but i'm genuinely having so much fun with shop titans i can't believe i've waited five years to try this game now, if you guys missed my first video on shop titans it's going to be linked down below you definitely want to check that video out first before watching this one that's going to get you an introduction into the game so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about here but first I want to give you guys a quick rundown as to what I've actually done since the last episode here remember we're trying to get as powerful and as rich as possible in just one week here in shop Titan so here you can see I've actually expanded my shop when you first start the game there are five possible expansions here for your shop I've unlocked the left and the right ones here you already know I'm trying to build a Walmart in the middle of Elwyn Forest I'm trying to be the king of capitalism over here okay we got Lord Voldemort and he's still doing good he's still big chilling he's still the number one capitalist kitty in all of the land he is responsible for so much energy regen on my account here on the top you can see we're at up to 100 here and we're definitely going to use some of that here to scam the magical mistletoe from this level eight barbarian so bada bing bada boom there we go let's small talk this dude with the leather cap I'm gonna be honest guys I've discovered that you should pretty much always small talk a customer if you have less than like 100 or 105 energy over here it seems like it's a 7 out of 10 success rate that's what it seems like to me at least and also for something this cheap I'm definitely gonna do a quick little discount so we can get some more energy here that way we can well that way we can scam this dude from the iron greaves now I also noticed that things that tend to be like green blue or purple they're obviously more valuable than a less rare counterpart of that exact same item but it seems like it doesn't cost that much more to surcharge so usually you get a lot of value out of surcharging these green blues purples even legendaries right now you want to make sure that you don't need to equip this to any of your heroes down here which obviously this has expanded quite a bit since last video so we'll talk about that in a second but if you don't need this for any of your heroes then of course go ahead and sell it here we're going to go ahead and small talk once again I'm not going to waste a surcharge on that same thing here I might as well eh, I don't need to discount anything yet so we're chilling oh we're getting so many successes here from the surcharge here is the city and I've made a ton of progress on this city with the help of Pugsy's guild over here you could see we have six out of six members you already know your boy has the highest net worth out of literally anybody else in this in this guild I have what bro even even my man Pugsy over here can't keep up like I am absolutely balling out of control here we've got flavor town I think he just joined us today and hopefully I can get another guild slot by the end of today if you guys didn't know you could do that by upgrading your town hall it'll say more players can join the city which is great now I'll talk a little bit more about guilds in just a moment but you'll notice down below here that two of my quests are actually finished and I want to introduce you guys to a really cool perk that I just unlocked for the purposes of this video now as you guys know this video is sponsored by the creators of shop Titans and generous sponsors like shop Titans help me continue to do what I do here on YouTube so if you appreciate any of my content that I posted over the years consider downloading shop Titans with my link in the description below the game is absolutely free like I said before I've been genuinely addicted to the game I've been grinding it even off camera like sponsorship aside this is actually one of the games that I've been addicted to the most in the past like six months which is hilarious because it is completely free and you can download it for your iPhone for your Android you can even download it on PC on Steam which is what I'm playing on right now and like I said it's completely free so consider downloading shop Titans today to help me out now despite this video being sponsored I actually spent money on the game I I literally spent my own money like that's how much I'm enjoying shop Titans now there's only one thing that I've purchased because I found that the value is absolutely insane and that's the little metal you're gonna see right above my head here reach one month of Royal Merchant boom there we go and becoming a royal merchant was the decision that I made that is what I spent my money on and you might be asking Omniarch why would you do that what benefits could you possibly get from being a royal merchant well let's go ahead and see what happens when we go through our quest here you can see that we are popping off against this trouble and okay I've unlocked the medium difficulty here for the for this you know early stage and that's going to give you more rewards but also what you'll notice here is that on the right here there is a golden chest and it says it's a sturdy chest found in the howling woods it can be opened with a wooden key and because this is golden you actually only are going to get all of the rewards from these quests if you're a royal merchant so if I were not a royal merchant I would only be getting the wood and the sandals here I would not be getting this chest as you can see here there's a little crown on the collect all button 
bada bing bada boom there we go plus there's way more perks here so you can repair items with gold which i found to be so insanely valuable if you guys didn't know the gear that you equip to your different heroes like all of this stuff here this can break when you're doing a quest okay and if it breaks you can repair it with gems or you can recraft it if you want to but if you're a royal merchant you can just spend a small amount of gold and repair it right away which is amazing but you also get bonus vip rewards 10 percent more gems from packs if you are spending a little bit more you also get fortune zone discounts and early access on offers so for ten dollars the value here is insane especially if you're going to be playing the game every day throughout the month you just get more and more value the more you're actually playing the game and so to me that seems perfectly logical i mean it's rewarding me for being an active player might as well do that it's also sort of a quality of life thing like i said repairing my equipment just with gold saves me a lot of time and a lot of headache and it also frees up that crafting slot so here you can see two of my pieces actually broke one of them was at level three actually so here we can take a look and this is what i'm talking about here 13 gems to repair this is very expensive okay but with gold boom there we go and again 1300 gold is nothing guys this is so cheap to repair warriors gauntlets let's actually go ahead and take a look at the warriors gauntlets it will we'll see just what it would cost to craft that again so you guys have an idea as to what the value is of repairing it with gold okay warriors gauntlets costs 17 iron nine leather and three of the iron pine cones which you can only get from quests and a couple of other places but mainly it's just from questing having to recraft that is a waste and you don't want to spend your premium currency on that either so if there's one thing that you buy in this game that should be it it is the number one best value but anyway let's see if we can scam some of these dudes real quick so you can see i'm at 126 it's not worth risking the small talk i'm just gonna go ahead and sell scale armor we're gonna first surcharge and then we're gonna small talk to bring down oh we actually got a backfire there that's not good we need another scale armor i bet you i can craft that i can there we go i guess i'll do a small talk we get the success we love to see that long boots let's go ahead and small talk we get another backfire oh my god i'm actually going to give them a discount on this because it's not that much gold loss and it's going to get me a bit closer to the well i actually probably have enough to surcharge this anyway but regardless it's still going to be worth it so anyway let's take a look at some of the heroes that i've recruited since the last episode we've got hanzo over here we got another warrior let's see if we can optimize his gear his gear is actually good we've also got spyro spyro is my mage and his honestly his hair looks sick like this dude looks freaking awesome anyway let's go ahead and optimize that of course you guys know bartholomew okay he's literally Literally Giga Chad decked out. He's dripped out, complete drippy. Max tier three equipment, which is nice. We have Mochi. I actually don't know if I had Mochi in the last video or not, but she's basically another mage here. And then we've got Aaron. Good old Aaron. That name I didn't pick. That name was just given to him. But our boy's holding the blade. Okay, he'll he'll put the knife in you. No, you know what I'm saying. He'll put the blade in you. Here we've got healing potion. Ooh. And one other thing I've noticed is that you can, if you know, if you fill your shop with more of the sort of higher tier items. It seems like customers more often will go for those than some of the lower tier things. That's just my anecdotal thing. Like, I don't really have evidence for that, but it seems to be the case that when they see it on the shelf, that's what they go for. So it's not like you're going to always have to keep in stock the lower tier items. That just doesn't make any sense. So as you guys can see, a couple of other upgrades. So you see, I've got my beautiful little fireplace. Like I said, I really wanted to build sort of like Goldshire Inn from Elwyn Forest. Okay. So that's kind of like the vibe that I was going for over here. And I also found that the wood bins look really cool when they're closer to the fire fireplace it just makes the most sense to me so we did that we put the little uh, we put the chair over here of course Lord Voldemort is still absolutely precious he's chilling right by the door so people see him when they walk in and maybe they'll pet him you can also see that I've unlocked the ability to craft jewelry and we have so much jewelry that is like my favorite thing to craft when I'm about to like go offline for a little bit because it does take a little bit of time and the value is crazy there it's crazy value anyway let's surcharge this oak and shield that's huge we can small talk the flip-flops we'll just sell those real quick I guess we'll small talk this as well let's go I'll surcharge for the healing potion level 21 baby yo we're popping off I'm literally such a good capitalist it's unbelievable boys it is unbelievable five free gems let's go what I'm thinking though is I have enough gold 334,000 to come over to Tutu over here she's got her little uh, her little boat by the dock it's actually like if I'm being real with you guys I want to have a margarita right here like 
boys come on on a tropical beach oh my god dude anyway if you talk to her you basically can unlock her as a cook and you're gonna get food delivered to the shop so there we go we've got bacon and eggs is unlocked that was super expensive by the way and then kaipo says investing in this installation will increase his level it's only a thousand gold to get to the next level i'm just gonna do that same thing for her bada bing bada boom so tutu is the one crafting the actual food which is really nice anyway the scale armor is done so let's go ahead and surcharge you bada bing bada boom it's lit oh my god the ruby ring let's give you a little discount on that one so we can start surcharging okay let's small oh that was a bad backfire that was a pretty bad backfire boys oh now we can start to craft some food bacon and eggs why do i need five mushrooms for bacon and eggs dude it starts at tier three which is which is really good that's kind of expensive iron greaves oh okay that's huge we'll just go ahead and sell those and that's enough for the surcharge on the ruby ring oh my god dude that is so much money now right now at the time of recording this for the next day the trifecta event is going on where you get 25 percent chance at doubling your item production and surcharge items are worth more while costing less energy so i have been farming this event like if there's any time to be super active in this game this is it okay and by the time this video goes up unfortunately that event will probably be gone but it probably will come back at some point so let's go ahead and uh ooh, do i want to get a disc no i'll just sell the flip flops this healing potion will we'll wait on that one real quick i will craft another healing potion and then and some sturdy canes because we're going to go for the bow staff here in just a second and I guess the squire sword as well okay what furniture did we unlock we unlocked the low partition wall and the low balustrade I don't know what that means but oh this is actually huge we can put these right at the entrance here oh I actually love this idea hang on perhaps this yes dude I'm gonna put two of these can I afford to? I can. Oh my God, a magic carpet. That's so sick. And now we're going to move these weapons rocks just over a little bit. So that way customers can walk through here. You see? Big brain. We got the double blades, baby. Let's go. Okay, so now we can craft a cutlass. Those are going to be big. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Seven minutes. Whew. Oh, let's let's rock the surcharge here real quick. Small talk, success. Boom. There it is. We'll small talk you as well. You've been waiting longer. I'll surcharge you. Okay. Let's get a discount going here. And we need 41 more energy. But now Lord Voldemort. Let me, let me edit Voldemort. Let's have him go like this. We'll have him like that. That's even better. That way he can walk straight out. He doesn't walk into the banister, you know? Anyway, earlier I said that I would talk a little bit more about guilds. And this is actually super important. This has helped me progress so fast in the guild. So first of all, whenever you actually start to build or upgrade something in your shop, like for example, this mannequin here, you can request help from your guild. Their help is going to speed up the building process, which makes sense. Let me go ahead and small talk and discount you real quick. You know, we're not selling this Ruby ring without a surcharge boys. You already know. Let's small talk. Oh, let's go away. Anyway, so the help system is really great for making progress because you can only upgrade one thing at a time in your shop. And so you, you that's kind of a bottleneck. You really want to push through those early game upgrades as fast as possible. But also, and this is something that I found super helpful, the grab bag. Okay. So as you can see, I don't have enough currency here, but I have been buying these as soon as I possibly can every single time. And the reason for that is because these grab bags have a ton of different things that could possibly be in them. Primarily a lot of the items that you get from quests like you can get like 30 pine cones from one of those grab bags or something like that. I don't remember the exact number, but I was getting so many of these resources, which at some points are bottlenecks for the progress of your account, because you're going to be constantly crafting like these tier three items, even the tier two hatchet, for example, they just burn through some of those early resources and materials that you get from the quests. And so you don't want the bottleneck to be that you just can't craft the more valuable things. Yes. We got the double healing potion here, baby. Let's go Marvel reaching level seven, baby. Yeah. Kitty cat. Yeah oh my god a little meow meow oh you're so freaking cute Voldemort all right let's surcharge you real quick oh baby let's small talk let's see what we get success okay you know we're gonna surcharge you we have to do it to him anyway I'm getting off topic here but the grab bags have been super crucial to my early game progression so definitely make sure you grab these when you can and finally there's also the bounties which are gonna get better over time as your guild ranks up you'll have guild boosts and things like that as well and then finally there is the friendship system here in the game where you can actually clean up your guild members shops while they're offline you'll see this little heart over their shop when you're able to actually do that and you're gonna get rewards for that as well I also feel like I get more energy by being friends with other 
players in the game and as you guys can tell the energy resource is extremely important to being the best possible capitalist that you can be so let's go ahead and claim some of this stuff over here let's small talk you see if we can get a quick success let's go baby I'm gonna just surcharge this potion and then we'll try to save up 75 here for the ring I think this Ruby ring is the most valuable thing that I have in the shop so there's no way I'm gonna be selling those without the the double price right it's actually more than double now that we've got that event going on oh sturdy cane oh not the backfire okay let's give you a discount on that it's just a cane it's no big deal it is what it is we did it baby let's go ahead and surcharge you oh my god you just got freaking scammed and now somebody wants to buy all that mistletoe that we uh, we actually bought earlier let's do a quick small talk let's get that success baby let's go I'm actually running out of space on the racks here I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, can I add another vertical rack over here like let's drop it like right here maybe yes dude there it is oh my god everybody wants these ruby rings but I'm running out of energy oh I need to farm dude oh we're one short I'm gonna go ahead and surcharge the mistletoe it's fine it's fine we'll get these ruby rings off our hands in just a moment oh yeah small talk discount leather caps an easy one baby I feel like I need another mannequin let's put a mannequin like right here boom there we go matter of fact I'm doing another vertical rack here boom there it is that way we have more things on the shelves that's gonna give us more energy let's go baby oh man I'm gonna discount it I just I need to get this energy baby oh we got the double cutlass baby let's go oh Lord Voldemort coming in clutch baby Lord Voldemort coming in clutch let's small talk the javelin owner let's sell you that and we are freaking farming let's go Elmwood bow backfires really oh my god are you gonna try to buy a ring too oh no dude I need so much energy it's insane backfire why did I do that I actually had enough oh no oh, I'm, I'm goofing man oh I'm not paying attention oh my god tell me you're gonna get a ring too tell me you're gonna try to buy a ruby ring as well no oh my bro oh my god there's no way there's no way I'm selling this without a surcharge I'm just gonna have to be patient please win the small talk please let's go okay you've been here the longest let's surcharge you boom there it is Ooh, scroll of armor that's actually sick and the reinforced greaves Ooh, we're, we're unlocking a bunch of stuff here boys now while we wait for our energy to recharge I just saw this in the mailbox here it says incoming King's Caprice this is an event that's coming up tomorrow his Majesty Reinhold will be on a shopping spree when this mail expires stock up on components for when the King's Caprice begins so it's coming to thinking what is this event oh my god we backfired again dude I'm just gonna discount it I need that energy I'm upgrading this counter at right after this I'm upgrading it there's no way I'm not upgrading the counter is huge because it gives you more energy for every sale like you're just farming energy even more from that but it's six hours anyway as you can see here this is what the King's Caprice event looks like when it does come around and this is one of those other things that is super important to be in a guild for because this is a guild based event so the more active you and your guild are during this King Caprice event the more value you're gonna get here and as you can see it says if you craft the requested items by the king you're going to gain favor during this event so as you can see here as you progress through these milestones you're going to get some of that favor you're also going to get some research blueprints and other things like that and these little golden arrows that you see for tier two as the rewards a capitalist's dream baby these are limited edition double surcharges yes sir double surcharges you're telling me i can scam someone twice to their face baby let let's go so this is what that looks like this player has already surcharged and then they can go ahead with the limited edition surcharge and double it again which is insane 1.5 milli from a single blade oh my god so as you can see here in the crafting menu there's going to be not only recent not only bookmark but also the caprice tab and this is where you're going to go to see what exactly the king is looking for what you should be crafting during this event and the best part about the limited edition surcharge is that you can actually use it on the king himself and if you guys didn't know he already pays like 5x value for a specific item so he's already paying way more for that item and then you get to double it again which is probably the number one place that you want to use these limited edition surcharges so keep that in mind so you definitely want to be in an active guild for when that king caprice event comes around because you're going to get a lot of fast progress in a short amount of time and everyone loves easy money i mean come on anyway as you can see here we've sold off two of the ruby rings and we actually do not have the materials for the final one so what i'm going to do here 
here is actually well first we're gonna surcharge the zogan shield for show i can make a swift blade real quick i got you i got you let me make two of them why not what we're gonna do is actually send out some of the heroes on a mission we'll do medium and then let's do that actually again boom there we go okay now this dude wants a stealth knife as well but in order to craft that i need more of those freaking mushrooms i'm out of the mushrooms man so basically what we're gonna do here we're gonna try to we're trying to gamble real quick okay we got three tickets let's go ahead and spin the win dude let's spin the win let's see what we get here let's see if we can redeem some good old points that's not gonna be that much let's be real that's 10 points okay let's spin again let's do another spin a rooney and we'll see here that's another 10 that's nothing that ain't nothing boys that ain't nothing let's do a, a final one our third one oh ugh, three okay so i was hoping that i'd be able to maybe win enough to get the extra gems here and then spend those gems but i think i'll just be patient okay i think i'll be patient we got 14 minutes until we got some more mushrooms it's no big deal we will be fine these customers can just sit here and wait until then it'll be good and we'll farm the energy that we need to scam them when the time comes look at that we're already at we're already at 63 we're chilling and then 5,000 more gold I'm gonna be able to uh, upgrade my my counter to level four which is huge anyway guys that's gonna do it for our second video here in shop Titans if you guys want to join me to see just how rich and powerful you can get in one week the link will be in the description below I want to thank shop Titans once again for sponsoring today's video like I said earlier without sponsors like shop Titans I wouldn't be able to do what I do here on YouTube so please consider downloading the game no matter what platform you're playing on the game is free while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other shop Titans players might see it if you want to follow along on my shop Titans journey make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you're notified the next time that I upload a shop Titans video and comment down below your thoughts on shop Titans have you played the game before have you tried it out what do you think of the game those of you that have played it have reached out to me and said that they're really happy that I'm playing the game because they were addicted to it a long time ago and hopefully they are jumping back into the game and seeing what new things the game has to offer for the five-year anniversary guys with that being said thank you so much for watching this has been Omni Arc. I will talk to you guys again soon peace